Hi everyone, this is Cheryl and welcome to my sewing room. I'm going to demonstrate how to take a very plain, ordinary sweatshirt like this and change it all around. We're going to soften the neckline, shorten the sleeves, and add a little bit of lace trim. So let's get started. I'm starting in the back of the sweatshirt and I'm going to trim this band off around the neck. So I'm just going to go ahead and do a little slit along there and then I'm just clipping right along here and go all the way around. As you're cutting, cut real close to the stitches right here, but try not to cut into that stitch line, but cut very close to it. After you trim that neckband off, you don't have to worry about anything unraveling because all the stitches are still there. So it will hold up during the washing machine cycle. I want to make my sleeves three quarter inches long. So that's going to be somewhere between your elbow and your wrist. So put the sweatshirt on and mark where you want to cut the sleeves off at. And then I've lined up the sleeves together so I can cut them both the same length and I'm just going to use my rotary cutter. You can use scissors if you like and then go ahead and cut your sleeves off. I'm using this two inch wide lace trim. I got this at Walmart. You can also go to Joann's and find lace trim there. And don't forget, you can always check out Amazon and other fabric and craft website stores. So all I did was just lay my sleeve there and I'm just loosely wrapping the lace just to measure it. And I'm gonna cut it a couple of inches longer than what I need so that I have plenty to work with. Then you're going to pin this on the lower edge of your sleeve. After you've pinned it, then you want to mark where the two pieces of, or the two ends of the lace meet. So I'm going to put a little pin here and then here. And I'm using the seam on the sleeve as my guide as to where I need to uh, stitch the two ends together. So unpin it a little bit, then you're going to turn and bring the front sides of the lace ends together and stitch them. So I've turned to where my pins are now facing on the inside. I've twisted the lace a little bit. Now I'm going to match the two pins up and then I'm going to pin them together and then stitch right along where the pins first are inserted in there. Then after you've done that, trim some of your other lace off if you need to and then do a zigzag stitch across the raw edges. Here's my seam. So now I'm going to turn it back on the to where the seam is on the inside and then I'm going to finish pinning the lace along the edge here and then you're going to stitch right along near the top edge of your lace all the way around. The arm of your sewing machine is going to go inside of your sleeve and you're just going to stitch, do a straight stitch along this top edge up here and as you stitch remove the pins. So here's what the sleeves look like when you're done. Let's move on to the bottom of the sweatshirt. Cut the bottom band off and I'm cutting just above the stitch line right along there. So cut it off all the way around. Cut a piece of lace trim that's long enough to go all the way around the bottom edge plus a few inches extra. Then pin it on along the bottom, stitch your side seam together, and then finish stitching it along the edge just like you did on the sleeves. For more clothing makeover projects, go to the green screen at the end of this video and click on the links. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please click on thumbs up and don't forget to click on share to share this video with your friends 
And if you haven't subscribed yet, click on that red subscribe button down there in the lower right hand corner of your screen. Enter your email address, click on that little bell so you receive email notifications about my latest video. I'm Cheryl and I'm so glad you came to my sewing room. See you next time and happy sewing!